So now in this video we're going to look at the uh, JFET, the N channel version, and what I have is the J310. It came from uh, Joe Knows Electronics uh, Semiconductor Kit, I know that writing is not showing up very good. Uh, J310 there, they say it's the G version, but when you look at the physical component, I don't see G on it, so I don't think it actually is. If there's a letter after the number, then it probably means it's an enhanced version. But in uh, any case, we have the J310 in TO92 package. There it is right there. And uh, the pin layout, left pin is one, middle pin is two, and uh, the right pin is three when you're looking at the flat side. TO92 package, according to the data sheet, pin number one there is the drain, pin number two is the source, and pin number three is the gate. I wrote it out over there. So here's the schematic symbol that I like to use right there, arrow pointing in where the uh, gate is, otherwise, the drain and the source uh, look the same, so you have to be aware uh, which one is which, and because uh, usually schematics won't uh, tell you drain or source right there. But there is no universal symbol. This is just the one that I like. When it comes to FET transistors, MOSFET and JFETs, a bunch of different symbols are used. Hopefully there's a part number there though to make things easy for you. To start off with, we're going to look at the IDSS. So, when you wire up the uh, JFET like this, you get a certain amount of current going through drain to source. And this is the most current that will go through this component. SS is doubled up because the source here is connected directly to ground. And uh, so you got drain there. I stands for current right there. So, that's how I have it. Wire it up over here, we got drain on top, we got the uh, source in the middle, and we got the gate at the bottom right there. So source and gate are both tied to ground. You could uh, just connect them directly together right there. We have the drain to the positive supply. We could use a meter to measure how much uh, current flows through, but since my power supply shows the current, we'll just look at that. And here we have the uh, power supply. So the J310, when you wire it up this way to find out its IDSS, you can expect somewhere the J310 between uh, 24 and 60 milliamps of current, according to the uh, data sheet I looked at. So it looks like we got about uh, 30 milliamps of current right here, which is the same as 0.03 uh, amps. So that is at 5 volts. We will uh, lower the voltage. So you need a certain amount of voltage to get that. But uh, as you can see, it holds a relatively the same. So we got uh, 3 volts, about 31 milliamps, 4 volts, and uh, 5 volts. The current's basically staying the same, 6, 7 volts. So that makes it a current source. And uh, when you attach a load, you actually attach it to the drain side. So technically, it's a current sink, but any time something sets a current, you commonly call it a current source. So now we come to this other uh, circuit here. So, as I said before, when the uh, current source, I should say, is towards the more negative side of the load, technically it's a current sink, but you can still call it a current source. And I'm going to move this jumper down one spot. You can see we got the uh, positive supply, so positive coming to the drain. Now, from the uh, source to ground, when I uh, shuffle, the component over. In fact, I can do that right now. When the uh, source to ground has resistance between it, this is a 100 ohm resistor right there, it actually lowers the amount of current that uh, the transistor is going to let through it. And as long as you got an adequate amount of voltage, the current will be the same if you add a load. And so as you can see here with uh, 5 volts, we have 10 milliamps of current approximately right there. And uh, maybe it was on the edge of 11. But uh, again, as you change the voltage, the current is holding uh, steady right there. Also, as the component heats up, it may uh, shift a little bit. So I'm going to move the jumper up one spot. Now we're going to put an LED in uh, series with the uh, jumper and the component and again so that has a 2 volt drop it's changing the voltage across the uh, transistor and uh, adding just a tiny bit of a resistance and stuff but in any case as you can see currents holding uh, steady 
And that's really about all there is to the circuit. So as we saw, I put five volts across the uh, transistor and it let 30 milliamps of current go through it. So that's about 0.15 watts. According to the data sheet I looked at, the uh, total uh, power dissipation for the component, it uses P with the uh, lower D there to uh, indicate that when you look it up on that particular data sheet. It says 350 uh, milliwatt uh, rating right there. So we were pretty good. We could put 25 volts across it, again, if current's uh, low enough. But in uh, any case, we, uh, you know, got it fairly warm right there. So that's why I didn't hold uh, 7 volts across it uh, for terribly long. As I said before, the IDSS for this, so the maximum current that's going to go through it, there's actually a large range. These don't have a specific one. So if you grab a J310, maybe it'll be 60 uh, milliamps if you uh, test the IDSS you you never know or maybe it's down to a uh, 24 mine happens to be like 33 or something according uh, to this test right in that range and then when you add a resistor you just get a lower current from whatever that IDSS is so this one won't get to 60 milliamps but a different one would and if you use a 100 ohm uh, resistor I think you'll get like 30 milliamps or something but uh, any case, we saw that demonstration. Not going to go over that anymore. I uh, hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They'll help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.